it's windy right now about 67 degrees and um, had a great run I run nearly every morning or I walk and I alternate Monday Wednesday Friday upper body and Tuesday Thursday Saturday lower body <clears throat> excuse me one second and you know I'll go into a little bit more what I want to do for those later but today what I decided to do was go for a 30 minute run work on the lower body and my heel strike I was running the other day and I noticed that my my right my right foot I'm doing fairly well real quickly what what I what I've been doing to train my uh, heel strike is to, to to run where the balls of my feet are naturally beneath my hips so they're not exactly together like this because my hips are a little bit wider so I run with about one ball of my foot length and I try to make sure that my heel strike is in the middle as much as possible and as I come that my toe is going forward and I'm pushing off from the ball and I believe my toe I think it's supposed to be heel ball and then you land heel ball, okay, heel ball, heel ball. Okay. Today I did much better. So I was a little bit more in the, the middle and, and I focused much more on my uh, my form today. A lot of time, and today I was listening to music. My, the song that I really loved was um, Alan Parsons Project, Eye in the Sky. And of course I had a whole, whole bunch of others, which, but that one I just love. Okay. Um, The other thing I worked on was lower body strength while I was running. So I did a 30 second, I don't know if they're called intervals or fartleks, where I, I ran at a higher pace for 30 seconds and then I would slow down. I also did 10 knees on either side as high as I could go. And then of course 10 heel strikes on my backside and I did a couple of sets of those and then I did skaters you know where you do where you go back and forth and do your arms <clears throat> 10 skaters on each side I did two sets of those so I warmed up for 15 <clears throat> excuse me a second I did uh, the knee lifts ran for a minute excuse me a second you know heel at the back rested for a minute skaters and then I, I did a couple more sets of those coming back. And then I did my lower body, which consists of, so I put my, my weight in the middle of the ball of my feet and I go down and up as far as I can go. It shouldn't go more than, ideally if you can go lower, go lower, but your back should be straight. You shouldn't be going forward. That's not very good for your back. So you go down as far as you can go safely make sure that your knees are over your toes. My, let me just talk, speak to for myself. And sit like that, come back up. So I did 10 of those slow, 10 fast, and then I hold. And I only did one set today. Typically I might do two or three. And then I did um, lunges where I go down. Again, no further than 90 degrees that way knee over toe, ball my foot, back up, and so I do 10 down, uh, 10 fast, and then 10 hold on each side. Then I, I was able to get to where I could rest my arm somewhere, and I did knee extension, so that it was more of a ballet um, knee extension stretch for you to do your leg. I'm working on my balance too, it's much better than it was. Let's see if I could do this without holding on to anything. So I, I do this and I go up and down. Now actually when I hold, I'm able, I don't put all my weight on my uh, left hand. I put my weight on the, the standing foot and that gives me the balance from left to right. And it supports, oh now I'm able to do it, where my knee is able to go up pretty much at a right angle from the, the floor. And so then the back, if you notice, when you work out, so you work out one muscle group at the front of the body and then you work out the other muscle group. 
and there's a formula to that which I'll go in another time. But anyway, and then you do the back side. What I chose to do to do was to do curls and back. So I would bring my leg up and back in that way. And my heart rate came down from 130 beats per minute to one minute later it was 80. So again, resting heart rate. I believe is if it comes down 10 beats per minute, it's, it's fair, uh, 20 beats per minute, it's good, and 30 beats or more, it's excellent. My resting heart rate is uh, 54 beats per minute. So let's see, let's just take my heart rate right now and see what it is. It's 85 right now because I've been talking and I just took my heart rate about five minutes ago. So it's also good to take your heart rate five minutes after you work out and 10 minutes after you work out. Um, it'll be coming down pretty, you know, pretty good. Uh, let me think one second. I do it the old fashioned way where I put two fingers on my carotid. Don't hold it too tightly because you can cut off the circulation and don't do it this way because you could pull. So you hold it here and you look at the clock. Typically if you're counting down, if you start at six, where the number is at six and then it ends at a zero, let's say it's at 46 seconds and it ends at 40 of course. When it's at six you start counting at zero and then when the clock hits the zero number six seconds later, whatever number that is, then you, and you begin to learn how to count half and quarter beats in between the seconds. So um, I think that that's it. So thank you very much. And I'll be in touch. I, I won't be posting every day, but this is just kind of to let you know. I hope that this has been fun and educational. Oh, the other two categories that I listen to are uh, educational, which could be spiritual or practical or motivational, inspirational. And sometimes they kind of cross, you know, I might hear somebody when I'm either, sometimes I don't uh, have any, anything at all going on. I just, I just listen to everything around me and I have wonderful thoughts and I get very inspired and then I'll think, okay, I want to hear this, this song or this group or this inspiration educational piece or, or somebody that that came to mind and so it all ends up sort of crossing over and sometimes I might do a language lesson um, and learn a new uh, learn a bit of, a little bit of another discipline that may be uh, you know that they're doing a little more research in or whatever so that's it thank you for joining me I hope you have a wonderful day and um, Stay cool. I know that Texas is it's pretty warm these days in Oklahoma, so please take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Drink electrolytes. There's a wonderful brand on Amazon. I think it's I think it's called Electrolyte. So you don't have to put very much in it, but it's got a great balance of uh, sodium, potassium, magnesium, I believe. There, there's another one that doesn't have any sodium in it. I, I drank that one for many years, and I realized it didn't do me any good. So do what you need to do to stay hydrated. Enjoy your workout. Bye-bye.